Yo, what's up, guys? We're going to do the breakdown here for Leon Edwards versus Bilal Muhammad because I know I got cut off a little bit on the original video. And this is the main event. It's a pretty good fight. I mean, Leon Edwards, uh, you know, everyone knows he's had a lot of trouble getting fights recently, a lot of canceled fights, hasn't fought in almost two years. And then we got Bilal Muhammad, who is coming in quick. He has fought just a month ago against Diego Lima. Good decision win for Bilal Muhammad. But, you know, he did take some damage in that fight to his leg. It wasn't a you know, one-sided performance necessarily. But, um, you know, he's getting a big opportunity here, a huge opportunity to jump up here and fight a guy in Leon Edwards who, you know, is uh, in the top three in the division. If Bilal Muhammad could win this fight, he's going to, you know, get right into that title picture. But if you think about it overall, I do feel like uh, he still needs to probably even win a couple more fights, even if he beats Leon Edwards. And Leon Edwards, on the other hand, Dana White's already said a couple times that, He's guaranteed the title shot with a good performance. Uh, I would take that with a grain of salt as well. I don't necessarily know if that's going to be the truth, but, you know, he's won eight fights in a row. I believe it would be a warranted title shot for Leon Edwards. And, you know, when I look at how this fight goes, I mean, Leon Edwards did take that time off, but he's been training. He's had uh, multiple fight camps. It's not like he's an old guy. So I do think he's going to come in here. And if anything, he's going to look a little bit better. He might start a little bit slow, potentially just, uh, because maybe some ring rust, but I do think that he will eventually get into the fight. And Bilal Muhammad, he's going to come with everything. He has nothing to lose. He is a guy that has been chirping and wanting to get these big high-level fights for a long time, so he knows he has to come out here and perform and prove his worth here, prove that he deserves these high-level matchups. And if he gets a win, he completely changed the trajectory of his career and you know, it's only in big fights moving forward. So huge fight for both guys because if Leon Edwards loses in contrast to a guy like Bilal Muhammad, he's not going to get any of those big fights that he wants to get. So both these guys definitely are motivated to win here. And, you know, when I see this fight, obviously both these guys are going to come in with uh, similar game plans to what they always have. Bilal Muhammad, he's going to have to use that forward pressure, try to overwhelm Leon Edwards, try to stay in his face, break him. And we've seen in other fights, uh, you know, when Leon Edwards fought forward pressure strikers like Brian Barberina, he did ha struggle a little bit in that fight, lost the second round. He got dropped with a nice little uppercut there from Brian Barberina. But, you know, Bilal Muhammad, I do feel like, is clearly the inferior striker when you look at it on paper. I mean, Bilal Muhammad, he's a, he's a good striker. He could switch stances a little bit. Um, but you know, he primarily, uh, likes to fight from Orthodox and, you know, he throws, uh, a nice jab. He definitely likes to, a uh, level change before he closes the distance a lot of the time. So he faints these level changes, comes through with the, you know, the straight right hand, the, the, uh, check hook. And he definitely, um, has pretty good boxing. He's accurate. He has good hands and he throws a lot of volume. So, he can, you know, back you up with these peppering shots. He's not necessarily putting full power into them and, um, you know, really work you over with that. I think in this fight, you should try to attack low kicks, even though I feel like Bilal Muhammad is really not the best kicker. I feel like his kicking game is not very good. But, you know, it is the southpaw versus orthodox, ma orthodox matchup, Leon Edwards being the southpaw. And when you look at it, Leon Edwards doesn't check kicks in any of his fights. So if he can land a few low kicks, attack the body potentially as well, anything to slow down Leon Edwards, give him to be a more stationary target where Bilal Muhammad will be able to shoot in on him against the cage, you know, hold him there, or just get him to stand in front of him and get more chances to hit him if they're, you know, exchanging in more of a pocket type fight. Because Leon Edwards is definitely the better mover way better footwork. He's going to be the much faster guy in there. And I think a lot of his weapons do kind of give Bilal issues in terms of Bilal Muhammad. If you watch a lot of his fights, he's not a big fainter. He's not a guy that moves his head too much either. So it's pretty obvious to see, you know, when he's going to close the distance. And I feel like it's pretty easy to hit him with the jabs and the crosses. If you watch this fight with Jeff Neal, I mean, he was getting hit on that left side with that left cross over and over again. Didn't really see it. That's something that Leon Edwards is very good with. Muhammad is a super durable, tough guy, great recoverability. So I feel like he's going to be able to take what Leon Edwards has to give him. But Leon is a slick guy. And, 
he's real good with the jab, real snappy jab. I feel like that jab is going to stay in Bilal Muhammad's face. I think that that straight left hand is going to be there all night for Leon Edwards, the footwork, the movement. And another thing that I think that Leon Edwards has that Bilal Muhammad struggles with is that kick, man, that rear kick. We saw Jeff Neal land the head kick multiple times, hurt Bilal Muhammad with that body kick. And Bilal Muhammad is a good wrestler. He has good level changes, good timing on his level changes, but Leon Rocky Edwards has proven uh, time and time again that his wrestling is very formidable. He has real good clinch takedowns, real good clinch control, and I feel like he's the superior clinch fighter, which is another you know good path for Rocky – or not good path, but another good thing for Rocky Edwards. He has those nasty elbows off the break, man, which Bilal has to be very careful of. I think that you know those are the most impactful shots that anyone or either of these guys throw – in the clinch below Muhammad, in my opinion, doesn't really have a lot of great clinch offense. And, you know, I do feel like uh, Rocky Edwards has great cardio. I don't see him slowing down in this fight, even if uh, Bilal pressures very heavily for Bilal to get takedowns. I think he's going to need to really chain wrestle. And I think that uh, that could even get him tired potentially. And I just think Leon Edwards is going to be moving, using that jab, using that left kick, maybe even mixing in some takedowns of his own. And I feel like it's going to be one of those fights where Bilal Muhammad is in the fight. He's pressing forward. He's never given up. He's throwing a lot of volume. He's making Leon work. He's making Leon defend some takedowns. But I think it's ultimately going to be a story of uh, Bilal Muhammad showing his toughness, Leon Edwards showing his superiority and, um, you know, all the technical skills across the board. I feel like Leon is the better athlete. He obviously is the bigger guy. He has the range advantage. He has the speed advantage. I think he's uh, – technically the better striker wrestling. Maybe you could give Bilal Muhammad the edge potentially, but I feel like Leon maybe is even the better wrestler. And I don't think Bilal has the edge in the grappling that much in terms of uh, even if he gets the takedown, it's not like Bilal Muhammad is a finisher on the ground. That's another thing that's good for Leon is uh, Leon is a round winner, smart guy. He knows how to, uh, you know, be smart, win on points not get into brawls, and Bilal Muhammad isn't a finisher. So if Leon Edwards is ahead on the scorecards, it's going to be really tough for Bilal Muhammad to uh, get back in the fight. So I don't think he's going to finish a real tough Bilal Muhammad. I mean, Leon Edwards is never a guy that's uh, shown necessarily a big one-punch knockout power like that. But I do see him being able to just dominate, hurt Bilal Muhammad just with his sharpness, maybe drop him a couple times, maybe – hit him with that big elbow, cut him open, and really put damage on Bilal. But I think Bilal is going to stay tough, stay in it, fight until the end. And I think it's going to be, a, you know, it's going to be a fun fight to watch, but I think it's going to be a one-sided fight with Leon Edwards uh, just being the better fighter. So there you have it, guys. That's, uh, you know, the breakdown for the main event on this card. If you want to check out real quick, uh, right before LFA starts, I do have a few bets on there. So if you want to jump on the Patreon, get those bets, uh, you know, we can maybe win some money tonight. And I do have a few bets for tomorrow as well. And, um, you know, if you guys didn't see the uh, parlay of the week and the most confident pick for um, this week, because I know the video got cut off a little bit. And I do apologize for that. I'm not 100% sure what happened on that. And, it, and uh, you know, it won't happen again. I know it's happened a couple times now, and it is a little bit of an annoyance. But uh, for the parlay of the week, it's going to be Angela Hill, Leon Edwards, and Jonathan Martinez. So, um there you have it, guys. And uh, the most confident pick for me is probably uh, Leon Edwards. So pretty confident that he gets it done. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, make sure to uh, drop a like. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Talk to you guys later.